Hello, ready to spy? Virgo. We just rolled a Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, this is going to be a reading for all Virgo placements here. Feel free to check other placements, by the way. But what we're doing is looking at a matter of importance for the month of February, Virgo. Okay. We're going to be taking a peek at your energy in the month. A potential or goal of yours? Potential, okay. Also a challenge associated with this goal or potential here. And then we're going to take a peek at what you don't see coming and advice, guidance, or what spirit wants you to know, Virgo. Hope all is well with you. What's coming in? Thanks for spying with me as me, Scorpio Spy. What's up, Virgo? Thanks for all the love and support. I'm hearing isolation. Okay. Who is isolated here? Maybe someone's feeling a little isolated. Okay. So we do have the Pontiff of Possibilities. Wow. All right. Big energy here. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. So you have the possibilities this month to create what it is you're wanting to create here, okay? So I do see a lot of opportunities opening up to you, a lot of doors opening up, okay? We have the queen of saintly women. I am in service of divine love. I move the way. Love asks me to move. Ah, service. There's that key word. Reminds me of the sixth house sometimes, okay? Or the 12th. Um, speaking of which, maybe you're dealing with the Pisces here. But this is showing love and devotion and support to people around you this month, okay? This is creating a lot of possibilities for you to take things further, to go to the next phase, the next step, the next level. I feel like there's a lot of people here that you're showing love and support to. Okay. What's the energy for Virgo in the month? February. I'm hearing September, of course. Maybe that's associated with you there. So we have Hangman. Could be a timing thing as well, or maybe something went down there. So Hangman on the bottom of the deck. Your vibe is the strength. Potential energy, Four of Wands. Okay. Your challenge here is the King of Pentacles. Your advice. Mmm. High Priestess. Okay, so let's see what you don't see coming. King of Cups. Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right. We do have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. It does look like there's going to be a lot of activity coming your way from a specific person. There's someone who wants to show you how they feel, how they care. You're going to be feeling it. Like you're just going to be knowing at this point. Okay. Okay. Hangman on the bottom. There's a realization of, yeah, Six of Cups, I thought so. A realization of a connection that's coming in. Some of you, this is a past, past life, okay? And there's going to be a lot of energy picking up between you and this person in the month of February. There may be some travel. But I see that desires are heightened, this person's coming toward you, by the way. Okay. In other news, I feel like there could be a mother figure here. Coming in real heavily. There's some sort of understanding that is being sought about this person or with this person. Mm -hmm. Others of you are realizing something about your childhood here. So let's see, why is Virgo in the strength card in the month of February, please? I feel like you're going to be shown a different side to someone in this month. We have the Ten of Wands here. Another strength card. All right. There's a little bit of uneasiness coming in in the month here, Virgo. There's some sort of fear or concern that you are squashing, okay? You are 
able to manage fears and concerns that are coming up during this time because of your skills, okay? You are able to manage these fears. What is this fear about? The tower is popping out. Some of you may be concerned that someone is closing a door here or leaving the situation out, or this is the person. Let me see what this is. Could be related to a Pisces, maybe a Sagittarius here, but there's a choice being made about this relationship and you may have been fearing which way it's going to turn up, okay? So there's something about a relationship that maybe you feel has been put on hold, put on ice, or there's a lot of misunderstandings or just really not knowing the stable ground between you and this person and how things are going to pan out here. Okay, so I feel like you're managing these fears and these concerns very well, actually. But it's almost like there's a, a waiting process that has been bothering you or like an insecurity related to a situation, whether this is you or them here. And I see that things will start making more sense here, okay? With this temperance and the hangman, it's almost like a, it's paying off or there's some sort of payoff and a switch up of the nature and the vibe between you and this person, okay? Maybe you feel like you're like in limbo waiting for someone to do something that they said they were gonna do. It kind of feels like that. Okay, so let's see your potential here. The hangman, again, nine of cups, the five of cups, and the ace of cups here. Oh, yeah. There's some pining going on between you and someone, all right? Um, you have potential to get a wish fulfillment coming in your way here. You have potential to be on the same page with this person. It looks like a love situation. There's a new beginning coming in and it's turning the frown upside down, okay? Because I feel like there's a vibe that's talking, you know, you are dealing with someone who maybe is guarding a, an aspect of freedom here, okay? With this Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands or maybe someone is being more self-serving than relating to this relationship in the way that you'd hoped or you'd like here. And things are things are turning around here. So if there was any type of concern or a loss between you and this person, it's being restored with that Ace of Cups energy. And someone is going to start paying more attention to this relationship or to the feelings involved here. So let's see your challenge with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the two of wands, again, the star, there it is. Some of you guys, a challenge is associated with you and yourself being far away from someone, or you feel like you have this person and this person feels like they have you, and there's like a, a strong bond that could lead to commitment here. And the king and queen of pentacles is a, is a pair, by the way, but there's something... Um, missing because maybe there's a lack of commitment or a lack of a decision about this commitment. And again, maybe there's a little bit of distance involved here, okay? So I do see that the challenge is to choose. There's something about a choice that's coming in here. You may be dealing with a Taurus or another earth sign such as yourself, okay? Like Virgo Capricorn or an Aquarius here. We also have some Aries vibes, okay? It's almost like this is a perfect scenario or this relationship is a perfect type of relationship, but there's something going on. Like this can't be fully involved in because it kind of feels like that. Like there's a little bit of space or distance or um, 
someone not doing what they need to do, someone not choosing what they need to choose, or it feels like this, okay? Because this is a really strong vibe for long-term. This is a strong vibe for traditional, okay? Traditional type of commitment. This is like, this is like power couple vibes. And that's part of the challenge here. Now, alternatively, I'm, I'm just gonna throw out a little side note because everybody's experiencing things differently here. You could be dealing with a situation where there's already a commitment involved, okay? So let's see what the high priestess, your advice and guidance, or what spirit wants you to know, Virgo, for the month of February, please. Two of Wands, yeah. So the High Priestess is here. The Nine of Wands, okay. Mm -hmm. I see that you're making a choice here yourself, Virgo. If you feel like your life has been put on hold with a situation, this is you dropping out of that wounded warrior vibe. That I'm still hanging on by a thread vibe. Okay, and that's part of the advice here. Because it looks like as soon as you let go of that, things will start to move for you. Because you have the three of pentacles. Now some of you guys have a focus coming in. Regarding work, projects, and things of that sort, that's really important during this time as well as a little side snippet. Again, the King of Pentacles is here. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to be mindful of energy that you're putting in that you may not be receiving in return, okay? Is your input equaling your output here, okay? There's something about you listening to your intuition about that, like you know what's best here, you know what you're working with, you know what you're building, and you know what your situation is. And that's what the High Priestess is talking about. Now, I do see that there's a beneficial change coming into, again, we have this here, to a relationship and someone coming your way, all right? I do see that. But I feel like this is more so saying not to put your life on hold because of someone else's condition or conditions, whatever they're dealing with, Virgo. Anything else here for Virgo? Yep. There's someone having a, like a change in their vibe just suddenly and they're coming in toward you. Sagittarius, Scorpio, maybe another earth sign. And we have it here as well. It's here twice, okay? This person is coming in toward you. <laughs> Love you so very much, Virgo. Feel free to check previous and future reads for more different information, your other placements, friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, beep and don, beep and don down the street. Check their placements too so we know what everybody in the world's up to. Kisses. I love you. Bye.